In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install FUBAR ABX. It's a fantastic double-blind listening test you can uh, download for free on your computer. It's a fantastic way to both learn about music and test your hearing, uh, to see if all the claims you read about are true or false. What you do is you open up your browser. I have a Google going to use Google in a second, but first I wanted to give credit to this guy, Homebrewed Music. He was the first person to teach me on YouTube how to use ABX testing, uh, so thank you for, for that. Uh, but there have been some updates to it since he made the video, uh, so I wanted to show some of the updates. But this is the guy that taught me, and I, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Homebrewed Music. So we go to Google. Uh, we're going to look for the download. It's called FUBAR2000. Here it is, the first thing listed. Uh, we go to the download page, the latest stable version. We select that. My computer double checks I want to do this. I hit run. It takes just seconds. It's a very small program. My computer system runs a security check. It says it's OK. And click next to continue. Uh, it was written by Peter Pal Lowski. Thank you very much, Peter. I love this program. We're doing a standard installation of FUBAR. And you just hit next, 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 install, 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 and in just seconds, it's all ready to go. That was it. Run FUBAR 2000. Click finish. And it's just a basic music, uh, what do you call it, a media player to play, play different songs. Uh, however, we want to add a component, uh, so we're going to go back to our web browser and click on Components. And we scroll down and we're looking for ABX Comparator 2.02, .02. so we select that. Uh, if you forget how to work this, uh, how to use it, you hit Documentation and the instructions are just uh, three sentences. Install it. Uh, select the two files, the two songs you want to compare from your playlist, right-click, hit Utilities, and then ABX the two tracks. So that's a pretty simple instruction set. Let's download the ABX comparator. Computer wants to make sure I want to do this. I hit Open. Yes. So here it is. It appears on the list. Originally, you had to drag it in here. You had to apply it, install it, dezip it. Uh, there's now a dezipper built in. So this is all taken care of. So we just hit OK, apply the changes. We'll restart FUBAR. OK. And let's cl close down the browser. And here we go, FUBAR 2000. So you can either find your songs by using the uh, File button I'm going to add files, add folder, or you can just grab a song from your desktop and bring it in. So there's my first song. Here's another song. So now we're going to compare these two songs. Uh, and you remember the instruction said to hit the control. We hit control, hit the second song that we want. So these are the two songs we're going to compare. If you had a list of a whole bunch, uh, you just select the two that you want. We right click. Go down to Utilities and select ABX Tracks. And you can do a training session if you hit Training Mode first. Replay Gain is sort of a simple way to level match the songs, make sure they're the same volume level. It's really best for you to be sure they're the same volume before you start, because this is a sort of uh, simplistic way to do it that was never really meant for scientific, precise testing. Uh, the guy who came up with this did a brilliant job, but it's really not meant for this application. Use DSP means do you want to use things like your equalizers that you can set up? Uh, we don't want to use any processing. We don't want to use any crossfading. And we're not going to do a training mode. We're going to go straight to the test. So here we are. We have started the test. There are no time limits. You can take as long as you want. You can even put your computer to sleep and come back to the test the next day if you want to. The songs can be any length you want. One second, two hours, you, you, you decide. And you're not forced to do quick changes. You can do slow changes if you're of the mind that it's best to listen to a half hour of the music instead of just a few seconds. You can do that. 
So here, here we have the two songs. Let's listen to A, which is the higher quality version. Uh, it's that first one on this list, song from Kevin MacLeod, uh, Ghost Dance. This is the normal excerpt that I got from the web. It's free music that's uh, royalty free. Let's listen to version A. Now let's hear the version that sounds like an AM radio. I have AM equalized it, roughly speaking. Version B. Here it sounds kind of dull. We can switch back to the high quality one mid-track. So you can think of it as we're sort of comparing a high-resolution song to a low-resolution song. Uh, however, that order will change depending on how you load the songs in from your, your playlist. So you're always allowed to know what A sounds like by hitting the button. And you're always allowed to know what B sounds like. Instead of having it play the whole song, I want it to just replay a certain section that starts here and ends here. Now when we hit play, it starts mid-song and it ends here. And then it loops back to the beginning. So now we can replay a certain passage. Hear the difference? Okay, so now we've established what those two songs sound like. That was sort of your training session. You actually train as you're con conducting the test, which is pretty cool. But now X, what is X? We don't know. It might be A, it might be B. This is what we're testing. Let's take a listen. I think, I think that's A. Yep, sounds just like it. Now, that may be enough to even start cast your vote. I think X is A. Y is whatever the opposite is. So if you think X is A, obviously Y would be B. So I don't even use this button, but it just means whatever the opposite selection of this one is. Uh, so I could cast my vote right now, click that button, and then lock my vote in by hitting Next Trial. But let's double check by hitting Play B. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound as good. Yeah, these two are the same. So we're going to vote X is A and cast our vote. And you'll see the trial count move up one digit. So we hit it, and now we're on trial two. Let's hear, listen to X this time. That doesn't sound good. I think it's B. Yep, it sounds just like B. So we could vote right now, but let's double check by listening to A. Yep. Definitely this is B. So we're cast our vote. And you can hit these buttons in any order you want. You can jump quickly. And instead of having it uh, stay at the same point in the song, if you de-click that button, now it'll jump back to the beginning each time you hit. So that's how you conduct a test. We're on trial number three of 16. Uh, now I'm going to quickly do the balance of the test. Uh, we'll fast forward this in the YouTube video.
Okay, so I'm now at my last trial, trial number 16 of 16 total, and you pick the number of trials in the beginning of the test. I want to get at least one wrong on this test. I may already have some wrong, but I want to make sure this one is wrong. That's the bad version of the song. B, not A. So X is B. So normally I would cast my vote here, X is B or the uh, reverse of that would be Y is A. So that would be the truth, but I'm going to intentionally vote wrong. And now I'm going to finish my test. Let's see how many of the 16 I got correct. We hit finish. And now here are my results. These are the names of the two songs. Uh, this is how I did my start times of each test. And I got one wrong on the test. That last one indeed was wrong. So I got 15 correct out of 16 total. However, uh, the probability that that was just due to dumb luck is still extremely remote. Probability that you were guessing, 0.0%. Uh, it's probably actually 0.01, 0.0%. Two, they just don't show us a very accurate figure here. Uh, so if you get 15 out of 16 right, that means you really did hear, hear a difference uh, almost almost most certainly. Not, you're, you're never 100% sure. Uh, however, it does seem that I, I could hear a difference between these two songs.